everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to talk about my bread storage solution. I've mentioned before in a couple of videos that I have a specific way that I store bread in my kitchen and many of you have asked me throughout the years how do I store my bread so today we're going to address that topic. Let's go see how this all comes together. This is how we store our bread in our kitchen. What is over there? We keep it in that corner over there. And after many years of how do we store our bread, do we, we've tried baskets where we had a basket with the bread in it. We've tried a bread box, which, you know, then things get piled on top of the bread box and you have to move things. The bread box isn't big enough. And so it took us a long time to figure out what suited our family best. So, because we have an extremely small kitchen. This works for us. We literally went to Walmart and we got the bread that we usually buy and thought, you know, what are the things that we always have on hand? And we put them in the cart and then we walked over to where the plastic containers are. And then we had made a measurement of how much space we had height wise from the counter to underneath the cabinet. So this is what works for us. We got this big bin and I'm just gonna set this over here and I'm gonna show you box by box what's in each of these things. So we have this larger box because we usually, when I don't make my own bread, and honestly I don't make my own bread very often because we're super busy and it's, Especially when, it's too hot. when it's going to be summertime, I don't make bread at all, we buy it. So I usually buy this, um, what they call pan bread. It's usually on sale in my area, buy one, get one free somewhere, whether it's Publix or Harris Teeter. And then if Walmart has it, if no one has it on sale, Walmart has it the cheapest. So this will fit in here easily. And right now we have a partial loaf. I always have a loaf of rye bread in here. And this will fit in there as well. A whole loaf will fit in there as well next to the white bread or the wheat bread, depending on what we purchased. Right now there's some rice cakes in here because my girls had them. And then we almost always have these brioche buns, whether I get them from Aldi these buns are awesome. or from Walmart. And we love them and they're great for sandwiches or burgers or what have you. And then we have like a random one. So at any given time, there's white bread, rye bread, rolls. There could be Italian bread in here. But <coughs> if you work it like a puzzle, it will all fit properly and nothing will get squished. Now. The middle box, we keep sometimes, like today, for example, I have a package of hot dog buns, a package of hamburger buns, and you might think these look like they were a little smashed, but they're really not. These are not smashed. Um, we just put the lid on it and it, you know, it took the form of the, the lid. But sometimes we'll fill this with granola bars or nut bars, energy bars, snacks um, that the girls can come and grab. Um, you know, those yogurt bars and stuff. So it depends at any given time what's in here. Right now, we don't have any snack bars on hand and we're planning to have burgers and hot dogs at some point for dinner a couple of nights this week. So we thought the, a good example would be to show you the hamburger buns and the hot dog buns. You can easily store homemade breads in here. You just need to make sure that they're wrapped tightly in plastic and then putting them in the plastic um, containers keeps them fresher longer and it uh, inhibits molding as well. Now I have this additional bin which because we probably don't need three bins for bread but this is what i use it for this is for overflow spice jars i have a, a jar of taco seasoning in here this is my homemade taco seasoning and then i have an open partial open bag of pasta shells so if i have um open pasta like if i have open macaroni or something maybe i opened a bag of orzo or a bag of pasta that we cooked for lunch and we only used half it will go in this bin that way when i want to make some then i'll check this bin first and i'll see oh i haven't opened something and i'll go ahead and i'll use that first but this you know this is up to you you want that third bin you go for it i figure there's always it's always a good idea to have extra storage space and if you're going to have this under your kitchen cabinet anyway use up the space that you have the linear space is going to be um, really a very welcome thing so why not use the space you have measure out find the bins that you like i happen to like i happen to like these bins the best 
because I like the configuration. I like that the handles snap on and the lid, it's easy in and out. But it's up to you, what, 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 what space will these fit in for you? Exactly, maybe you only have room for two of these larger bins, or maybe you only have room for a large bin and a skinny bin. Maybe the skinny bin doesn't work for you at all. We're working with what we got, and that's what you have to do too. So that is how we store our bread. And when I make homemade bread, I wrap it in a bread bag, and I just slice it up first, because you have to slice the bread first after it's cooled, otherwise, People will come behind you and try and slice it, and if Don't they <laughs> they they will mess up your bread. I'm just saying. So, just wrap it in a plastic bag or in plastic wrap. Stick it in the bin. Boom, you're done. I don't know about you, but when I make homemade bread, it doesn't last very long anyway. So, you know, that's just how it goes. But this is how we store our bread in our kitchen. And um, for any of you folks out there who have cats, now you know we do not condone our cats getting on the counter where we always have to chase them off but when you have cats sometimes they have a mind of their own and especially at night and if you are if you're sleeping the cats will decide what they're going to do one of the main reasons that we have our bread in containers like this is because cats for some reason find bread bags and bread irresistible mm -hmm. and they will chew through a bag of bread and it will upset you and it will make you mad so this alleviates that entire problem as well. Plus it keeps your bread a little bit fresher. But that is our bread storage solution. I hope this gives you an idea. Um, I hope that you know these are helpful tips and tricks because this is what works for us it might not work for you it might not be something that fits into your life or into your kitchen or into your space but it works for us and it doesn't look bad it keeps things neat and tidy it keeps your bread fresh and i just wanted to pass this along so if you enjoyed it i hope you give it a try i hope this inspires you to maybe see what you can do and, and work into your life and maybe it's helpful from that end. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please consider giving me a thumbs up and if you are new to my kitchen I would like to say welcome. It's always fantastic to welcome new people and please make sure and hit that subscribe button and if you are already a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family please be sure and hit that bell notification button because we don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes and home tips and tricks that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give my bread storage solution a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.